Um, you tweeted some very supportive comments about uh, Holly, Holly Bradshaw. Oh, don't Taylor get me Bradshaw. started. I will go. <laughs> I will go to bat for Holly any day. It's just, it's just people commenting that. I mean, it's just ignorance. You know, they just don't understand the sport. Uh, but I guess from my perspective, you look at what happened, and it should make sense that when you snap a pole, the vibration that shoots through your body. I mean, I've seen teammates break anything from fingers to wrists to the collarbones, I mean, you name it. So I, to have people commenting that she was being dramatic and it just, it's, it's offensive to all of us for what we do. Because yeah, some people are able to bounce back, but when you break a pole, you're numb, but you have all this electricity coursing through your body, you, you don't know what to do. And a lot of times there are injuries that you don't even realize because you're in shock. And so I just, she, for any athlete to pull out of a major championship and is devastating. So I just wanted people to be a little bit kinder to her and understand how hard that was for her. You, you mentioned there's still a sort of a fear element around the pole vault team. Yeah. If that's for someone who's sort of at the top of the tree. Yeah. You know, it, <laughs> it makes it, I guess, how would you help the sort of the average fan understand better exactly what you're trying to do with you know? Yeah, I mean, the, the fear comes that impulse off the ground, just taking it off the ground requires, you know, a confidence and, you know, a, a mental strength and uh, the way that I combat that fear is by focusing on my execution points, but when I was younger and really learning how to vault, I didn't know how to think on the runway, so it was just this run down as fast as you can, throw your hands up, hope for the best. That's a very scary way to pull ball. So I've never fully left that in the past. I feel like I'm addicted to fear almost, like my body just kind of holds on to it. So with that being said, I just I really try to channel it. Thanks, <laughs> I really try to channel all that focus into just that execution, telling my body exactly what I want it to do. And it's taken time and it's not perfect. This year I struggled with that a lot, but at the end of the day, that's what you go back to and that's what works.